I'm loud. I, I apologize <laughs> already. Uh, I'm excited as usual. I'm excited that you guys are here. We're trying some new things today. And those, yes, I put the, the wrong bra on. It's not helping. I mean, it's helping, but you know. Uh, so yes, wait, let me get on the other side because this one is too small. I'm gonna go on the other side. But yes, so what's up guys? How is your week been? Hello, I'm on Instagram, I'm on uh, YouTube. You know, YouTube is better than Instagram if you guys are on Instagram watching. So um, today what we're doing, we are uh, talking about, uh, oops, shit, sorry. So today what we're talking about is, um, we were supposed to talk about cheating story, but I think I put it out too late and uh, now I didn't get enough. I didn't get enough crazy stories. So what we're going to talk about is, um, cause I did it before, but I didn't say everything. So it's about the, the secrets. I, I said, I posted, tell me, give me a, tell me a secret. And, um, and the responses that I got were out of control. So that's what we're going to do. So if you want to participate, because you know, I'm all for an, um, interactive show. So if you want to participate, all you got to do is either you can try to send me an email with your secret and uh, the email is melimonaco1 at gmail.com or you just come on YouTube because it's going to be hard for me to read on Instagram or you come on YouTube and you tell me, you send a super chat. I'm sorry, you're going to have to send something because you know, when you send a super chat, I can see colors and because I see the colors, it's easier for me to see the shits. Okay. Uh, so, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, uh, Shaquan. Uh, hello. I didn't say hello to people. Let me say hello. Okay. On Instagram, I'm the real king 36. Hello. Oh, thank you. She's the perfect woman. Thank you. I'm not perfect, but I'll take it. Um, black ghost entertainment. What's up? Howard castle. Hello. Thank you. Um, what else? Uh, who is on IG, uh, on uh, YouTube? Uh, Sunny Die or D? I don't know. Woody with Dumbin. What's up, Robert Vasquez? It's hot in here. I am sweating already. It's sad. Uh, Roland Kitchen Kitchens, civil gen, uh, civilian general. Okay, so hello everybody. Thank you for being here. Good evening. <laughs> like you're saying. All right. So what I want to say. We're we're gonna start. All right. So uh. So I asked, what is your biggest secret? So I got some secrets from some people. Again, if you want to come and participate, just send a super chat so I can see that. All right, so let, let's talk about the first one that I saw. Uh, I have a fetish of seeing ladies' souls under their feet. So, sir, that, that's what you like. I don't even know what camera to look at. That's what you like, sir. You like to look at women's soul. Is that is that really a thing? Cause um, I don't know. I I want somebody from the community. This is a different community, you know. Uh, cause I I didn't know it was a thing. So uh, guys, can you can somebody tell me about this? Is it really a thing? Um. Is it really a thing? You get you guys be liking souls. What is it about souls? Um, I don't know. Uh, ooh, food fetishes. I, I guess that's what it is, right? Uh, somebody said, what kind of shit is that? I, I don't know. I, I mean, I've heard, I've heard stories about, oh, send me pictures of your feet and shit, but I didn't know like the souls was another thing. Is that different or it's the same? I don't know. All right. Um, somebody please help us help the community understand what's going on with, uh, with the soul. Um, Okay, so everybody is saying it's a food fetish. It's boring. Oh, it's it's boring. Okay, I, I apologize. It's boring. Okay, well, uh, I I got I got more. <laughs> I got more than this. Um, somebody said there is a half Domino pizza under my bed. Tell no one. So, I'm I'm not gonna judge because I probably am I sweating already? Not yet, but it's coming. Um. I, I'm not judging because, um, I used to eat in bed and uh, cause it's really enjoyable, you know, so I would be eating in bed and then, uh, but the pizza box under the bed, I, I don't know about that. 
No, no, sir. It's it's time. Maybe open it one more time to make sure that uh, there is no more pizza in it, or that you know, or take the last slice and then um, and then <laughs> somebody said a whole lot of roaches. Facts, facts. Uh, well, all right. Uh, let's move on. Um, I slept with my best friend on her mother's funeral day. Whoa, sir. Seriously, that that's what you wanted to do. So so I, again, whoever sent me that, I'm not gonna disclose your name because you know everything is private between all of us. But um, what were you doing? What why? I, explain to me what what was the um, the thing behind it. So you. So wait. Okay. So her mom is dead. My condolences. The mom is dead, and now you're like, let me fuck your brains up. Is, is that is that what? Was it at the funeral? Because if, if it was at the funeral, you're fucking brave. And, and that girl, really? She she needed a dick at this point? Um, I don't know. That's that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Oh, somebody said he was just consoling her. She needed, she needed the D. Uh, oh, my God, stop. Somebody said, oh, he took advantage of some sad pussy. That's wild. Did, is that what he did? No, because he said that was his best friend. Oh, but then imagine. So if they were best friend, he never fucked. And now he waited and got the pussy. Wow. Smart man. I mean, don't do that. That's fucked up. Especially if she's vulnerable and that's when you decide, oh, let me get some pussy. Or like at the funeral. I don't know. Because he said on the funeral's day, in my head, it was when she's getting buried, you're in the bathroom doing something. That's that's what pops up in my head. I'm I'm sure you were not that trifling. I'm I'm thinking. Somebody said that's wrong, but that's true. Uh, patience paid off. You guys are wild. Um, oh, somebody talking about... Somebody... You guys be talking crazy to me sometimes. Do you like choking or do you just like pleasing? Okay, um, uh, that, that is not the question. We're not talking about me today. So I don't know. Um, I don't know why we're asking me question. She fucked him. How? She don't got a dick. What, what you saying? Um, all right, let's see. Uh, what else we got? You guys are crazy. Um, ooh, Okay. We're getting a little serious in, in this one. I have a good woman, but at times I want to be single. Yo, this is a dilemma that a lot of people deal with because they think the single life is good. They be forgetting. I don't know. I, I'm going to talk about myself real quick. So when I'm single, I don't like it. To me, it's not, it's not really nice. It's not, I don't know. I prefer to be in a relationship. So when uh, in the relationship, if... I'm feeling like, oh, it's not working out. I be thinking about those days where I was single and I was like, oh my God, this I'm miserable. Like being single is trash. I'm not trying to go to the club to found people or none of that. So, so damn, I'm, I'm telling you my advice for you. If you're here listening, sir, sir. Yeah. Because you say you're good women. So I'm like, um, thinking you're, you're straight. Yeah. So, um, we're going to think that, um, I would say reconsider because I'm telling you, you're going to get back on the market and you're going to realize that there is nothing for you over there. I don't know how old you are, but, um, a lot of time, you know, um, mm, it's, you're going to think it's better. I mean, I'm not telling you stay if the, no, you, you say you got a good woman, but again, uh, I'm not going to tell you to stay if she's not treating you right, but you say she's good. Maybe, you know, you, you lost some of the spark, but the spark is not always going to be there. It's you. You have to kind of like cultivate it for yourself and for her. And hopefully she does it for you too. You know, because, um, being single is trash. I, I think especially more for women, I would say. I don't know women who want to be single. Like, I, I do not know them. Even the ones that are saying, I want to be single, trust me, they be lying. Um, so somebody said, single life is difficult. I too prefer to have a steady lady. Exactly. Same here. Um, 
All right, let, let, let's see. What, what you guys thinking on uh, facts, bro? Somebody say, I don't know, a thousand messages you're missing. Well, I'm sorry, I cannot read all of these. It's worse for women. Facts. I mean, that that's how I feel. Again, I'm not a man, so I can't say, but, you know, I, I really think it's sad for women who are single because, I don't know, we, we, we want somebody. I want somebody. That That's just me. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, cause it's gonna, the, the, the single women are gonna come. No, it's great to be single. Okay, bitch. Great. All right. Sounds good to, to you, not to me. Uh, all right. What else we have? Oh, we're getting serious again. This is not a laughing matter, but I'm gonna read this one and not laugh because this is not laughing matter. Um, I was abducted and raised by a false mother as a child. This is some crazy shit. That that's crazy. So can you imagine? So your parents, or not your parents, your parents lost you, or somebody came and took you in your bed or wherever or in the park, and then they raised you and didn't tell you, and now you found out. That's what I got from this. So now you found out that you were abducted and your parent or your mom or I don't know if it was a couple or just whatever telling you that. How, I don't know. How did you fucking find out? That is crazy. Um, yeah, that's trauma of all sorts. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That is, that's wild. Well, I hope you're okay. Because being abducted, but they raised you like they were they're your kids, like you were theirs. And now you're finding, this is weird. Uh, somebody saying people are making stuff up now. I don't think so. You really think people be lying? I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's real. I don't know. I mean, there is no need to, I mean, I wouldn't lie about that. That is crazy. All right. Let me see what, what else we got. Um, I've never been in a relationship with anyone. Okay. And also I am a virgin and many people don't know. Well, uh, I would have liked you to tell me your age. Because to me, it's not bad to be a virgin. I don't, but it depends kind of like on the age. Age. That's a guy sending that. So um, I don't know what's going on. Why, why no relationship? Are you socially awkward? Are you scared? Uh, are you not really, maybe you're waiting for marriage. I don't know. I don't fucking know. What, what is your religion? Is it a religious belief that make you not fuck? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Somebody say, how old are you, bro? Well, we don't know. I just got what they sent me. And um, that's that's what we have. That's crazy. Um, all right. What? Okay, somebody. <laughs> somebody is going crazy. Not going crazy, but told a secret. Saying that my secret is I think I had you in my bed during our college years. But I don't remember what happened. <laughs> well, sir, I, I remember you. <laughs> I remember him. I remember his name. Um, well, I, I don't know. Now I'm like, was I in your bed? But no, I know we never fucked. That, that's all I know. I know that for a fact. So even if I spend the night or something, I know we didn't fuck, sir. So we were, I remember hanging out, but not fucking. Not even kissing. So, sir, ooh, that was a, don't be uh, involving me in those, um, in those secrets. Please only talk about yourself. <laughs> Please and thank you. Uh, somebody said, didn't get no kitty. No, he didn't. That's for sure. Who is saying no hips? I got no hips. My hips don't lie. Yep, I got none. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yo, that is crazy. Um, the world is so rude. You can't trust anyone. Well, I mean, he's, he don't remember. So he's not telling the world that he fucked me or nothing. He's just like, I don't remember. Or maybe sh shit. Maybe I wasn't memorable, sir. That, that's just what happened. I wasn't memorable. Now you don't remember. Um, oh, he's saying, oh, he's saying more. This motherfucker talking about, um, I didn't have a condom. So we never kissed. Never. Tell me on here, did we kiss? 
We didn't kiss, sir. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yo, don't be attacking me. This is not the show to attack me or put me on blast. Um, what else we got? It's hot in here. Um, I had sex in an elevator. Ooh, that's sexy. I would like to do shit like that. Like, I'm pretty, uh, I don't want to say conservative, but people don't ask me to do crazy things. So, because I'm pretty adventurous. So, actually, I would do some of them shits, but nobody be asking. So, I'm just like, oh, no, well, uh, just in the bed. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it in the bed. But uh, the elevator, I, I, I would love the elevator because, you know, we start in the elevator and then, you know, it goes up. Or then whichever and um then it stops and then we gotta stop because we don't know who is coming in or did you stop the the thing you put the emergency acting like uh, something is wrong waiting to be delivered i don't know but um but yeah i don't know the elevator okay i'm uh, let me let me take some notes i don't have uh, something to write on but let me take some notes mental um all right what else we got um Oh, okay. Well, some, some people want to choose violence and attack me some more. I once jerked off to a photo of you. Bravo. Bravo. Uh, okay. Bravo. Oh, somebody about the elevator talking about the cameras are watching you. Uh, you did it a little, a uh, little freak. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, somebody defending me. Uh, shit, no hips, you're gorgeous to me. I don't know what he sees. Uh, I don't know, no hips. It, it is okay, it is okay. Um, all right, what else, what else we got? But yeah, joke off to me. Uh, well, yeah, like I say, bravo. I'm, I'm glad I was part of this experience for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Send me the picture. Cause I want to see what picture you found, uh, you found that you were like, Ooh, that's jerkable. Cause usually, you know, I'm just showing what a little cleavage. So you saw cleavage and you were like, Ooh, ooh ah! that, that's how you felt with cleavage. But, um, but it's good. Shit. If I can do this for you, I'm all for the community. You know, we are a, a big ass community over here. If I can help y'all, I don't mind. Um, what did somebody say? Don't say stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what I said, but it is what it is. Uh, what else? Oh, ooh, this one. Oh, I remember reading that one. This one is crucial because I wasn't aware of, of this. I didn't know that's the thing you guys do because in my head, I'm going to tell you what I saw in my head. So the, the thing says, my dick always hit the bottom of the toilet. So... This is nasty. This is fucking nasty. I mean, I don't know if you wanted to let me know that, um, uh, that what? That your dick is long and that it touches the bottom. Good for you. Good for you. Good, uh, good length, I guess. It's good. But, um, but what? Wait, I need to adjust something. You guys need to leave me alone. Attacking me again. The internet is crazy. If you don't have thick skin, do not come on the internet. You're still getting a little bit thick, which I like. I've always followed you. Oh, so that wasn't an attack. So you, you guys told me I was getting chunky and I realized it because I weigh myself. So I had gained like 10, 12 pounds. I lost the pounds and you guys are still saying I'm chunky. What's going on? The, the weight is not off. It's not looking off. I don't know. But anyway, so back to... Um, to the, the dick. So, sir, you have a big dick. That's what I think you were trying to tell me. But then why does it hit the bottom? I thought that that's what I have in mind when a guy goes to the bathroom and uh, to, to take a shit, I guess, right? So you're taking a shit, and I'm thinking that you put it on your lap. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm right for that, but to me, in my head, I'm thinking it's on your lap, right? Or you, you close, or maybe you, do, oh, you guys won't be closing your legs like that. So you open the legs big. But the other thing I was thinking was that it's probably, um, you're 
putting it on the on the border like where we sit pretty much you put it there and l let it sit right because now i'm thinking you're taking a shit i'm sorry for talking on those graphic things but you're taking a shit and so the shit is dropping in the toilet and then you are uh your dick is touching it how is your dick i feel like your dick is gonna be sick right i'm picturing your dick with a lot of um little how we call it in french we call them like kind of like mushroomy it's a bunch of shit on your on the head of your dick um on the tip i don't know so how is your dick that's what i'm concerned about your dick okay it's good it's long i mean it's good for some people it's good but um but but come on like what what's going on i i, I don't know um i sit mine on the seat okay uh, what dick she be getting? What you mean what dick I be getting? I'm just saying somebody said that. Uh, what the hell did I just walk into? I know, Hermosa, I know. Maybe you didn't want to hear that, but that shit is crazy. Somebody said, what the hell? His toilet has poo floaters. Uh, oh, poopy for the, from the toilet. Um, oof. You talking about fungus? Yeah, probably. I don't know, but um, I don't know. So you guys, what you be doing? What uh, somebody said I should be a comedian. I'm not even joking. I'm just like in disbelief of the things I'm reading and the the stuff you guys do. Or I don't know. Is is it a, a real thing? Cause I'm a fungus, <laughs> fungus type beat for sure. Like sir, you need um, I don't know. Okay, somebody say, okay, Melly, that happened to me when I was stationed in Germany. It scared the shit out of me. So, yes, I had to put it on my lap. Ew. Why, why this shit happened to you in Germany? Like, why, uh, it didn't happen in America? Are the toilets in Germany, like, lower and closer to, to the water? I, I don't know. Yo, I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Oh, somebody say he has baby toilet. Um... Sometimes you do put it on the toilet. So it's sometimes so what are you guys saying? So is that the norm? You guys go take a shit and let your dick drop in the toilet and touch the water. You guys nasty. If that's the norm and I wasn't aware, yo, somebody is gonna have no people are gonna have to take showers all the time because um because no, that is crazy. Uh thank you, Erk Owen, for your super chat. Maybe you absolutely absolutely gorgeous lady. Stop complaining. How am I complaining? I'm just saying you guys still saying I'm fat when I lost 12 pounds. I'm like, how much more do I need to lose? <laughs> I need to disappear. And then you guys be like, um, okay, let me see. Hold up and away from the drop, but down because you have fast urine most times when dealing with shallow toilets. Ooh, somebody is really coming on here explaining it to, to me or to the women because we have no clue. Or maybe I was the only one. I'm pretty sure women have no clue that that's what's going on. Um, so when you take a shit and you're pushing, you actually piss on yourself. Nasty. Oh, so that's why you put the dick in the toilet. Okay. So that's the thing. Okay. Well, I didn't know you guys, you know, I'm here to, to learn. I, I want to learn always. Well, thank you for the information. Nasty though. <laughs> I'm still going to say you guys nasty. You need to find another way. It has to be another way. Uh, ew. Ooh, somebody said to keep it 1,000 is just your boob. What, my boob out bigger? How? I'm, okay, anyways. Uh, this got way too graphic. I agree. Way too graphic for me. Um, let's see. What else we got? Ooh. I fucked my cousin and the next day fucked her sister in my parents' room. Sir. So, what is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? I, I really want to know. I need answers. Why are you doing that? I, I don't get it. So you fucking your family. My cousin, I, I got to reread to make sure. I fucked my cousin and the next day fucked her sister. Why are you fucking family? This is... um. Somebody, somebody said, must be Southerners. 
I don't fucking know, but that's why, why you're fucking your family. I mean, I, I remember, I remember like I was there, uh, you know, in the, uh, back in the days you would fuck your family to keep the shit in the family, but that's how you get all them, uh, them crazy fuckers. Right. I shouldn't say that you get disabled, disabled people, uh, by doing that. But what are you doing? Why are you fucking your I, I, I'm, I hope it stays a secret. You know me with, with us, with our community. Um, somebody say he's watching too much porn with our community. We don't share all of this information. You know, your information is safe with me, with us, but, um, why are you fucking your sister, uh, your sister, your cousin? What is the point of fucking your cousin? I don't get it. And then you're going to go and have the sister the next day. I'm so hungry. I got to take the sister too. W what is wrong with you? No, this is wow. Uh, they say <laughs> West Virginia. Uh, that's what we do over there. They came out as Trump supporters. How? Uh, I said them crazy fuckers. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. It ain't a secret no more. Well, it's a secret because I'm not going to say who sent me that, but you're wild for fucking your family. Make sure you don't get kids. That, that's all I'm going to say. Like, you're sick. Sick. We're not here to judge. Uh, let, let's move on. Oh, I'm in Iraq right now and on deployment messing with married women. Ooh. Well, sir, thank you for your services. <laughs> Thank you for that. But then what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Why are you fucking uh, married women? You know, the karma is bad. It's one thing I always thought about is like, when I want to do dirt, I be thinking about the consequences that it might have on me one day. So, um, somebody say Beyonce is my cousin. Stop it. Kissing second cousin. It's all good. Why? Why you need to kiss your cousin? No. Keep that shit to yourself or go find another bitch. Like, why you got to be in family? Um, somebody said, that's nothing new. I have been deployed many times. So that's what you be doing? So, okay, so what I'm picturing, because, you know, I picture everything. Uh, what I'm picturing is that you go, um, what do you do? So you go, you deployed. So I understand it's, you're serving the country, trying to save us. And um, so... Obviously, it's mostly men, I'm thinking. So the the few women that are there are probably married and their men is not in the in the military or whatever. They're not in Iraq. So you'd be fucking them. I mean, if... I, I might give you a pass. I, I might. You know why? Because if you're serving a country and you're not getting no pussy, oh, that must be tough. Because in Iraq, I, I'm pretty sure you're not going on the street to try to find... How you call the people from Iraq? Iraqis? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. So anyways, so you, you're not going to the street of Iraq and trying to find bitches, right? So then the only recourse that you have is are the women, uh, the women that are in the force with you. So maybe I'll give you a pass. Guys, do, do we give him a pass or that's not okay? Let, let me know. Are we giving him a pass? Please write in the, in the comment section. Uh, pass or... Thank you. you get, it's so funny because you guys be saying I'm funny. I don't be knowing I'm funny. I'm just be speaking my thoughts. Um, is it a pass? No, no. Uh, what else? Deployment in the military are like a jail sentence. Okay, so then, so then should you fuck men? Are you guys doing that? Do you become gay when you're in the military? Um, somebody said pass. What you guys saying? Pass, pass, no pass, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't want to talk shit to the military people because you guys are doing a great job. You are keeping me safe. Hopefully, no no wars coming my way. But um, but I cannot understand your your struggle. If you're over there with no bitches and the few bitches that are there are married. What is, uh, what can you do? How much can you, uh, what, what is the thing Tyree say? What do you want from me? Yeah, because shit, you got to release. Uh, they say, don't fuck, come on now. The Iraqi women get explosive in their pussy. <laughs> you guys are wild. Of course, a pass. I was in the military too. Wow, so that's something that you guys do. 
Hello. That's something you guys do. Okay, well. Oh. Well, you no, I don't know. I don't know what you can do. Can you? Because your wife is not coming to, or your girlfriend is not coming to Iraq, so maybe. I, I get it. I understand why. I understand. I would give you a pass. That's my personal opinion, but people said no. Um, all right, what else? Uh, she gets so wet, yet she says she does not enjoy it. Is she lying to me? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I don't know. She might be lying. She might not be lying. Cause she said, she said she don't like it, but she's wet. Right. I mean, some women get just wet. She's just a wet ass bitch. And, um, but you don't fuck her. Right. That that's, that's something that, that could be happening or, uh, you fuck her good, but she want to keep you on your toes. And because she want to keep you on your toes, she's like, no, that's trash. Deep down, she's like, oh my God, this is the best dick I've ever had. But maybe uh, she really likes it, actually. And she just don't want to tell you. So you keep on coming back and trying to prove yourself, trying to be better for her. Yeah, so maybe. But I mean, how long is that going to last? <laughs> Are you trying to prove yourself uh, because she tells you that uh, it's not good? I want to know. Uh, oh, somebody said, my sister was in the army. She had the best army pussy. How you fucking know? You fuck your sister? Like, <laughs> how you know how good your sister's pussy is? Sir, so, we're dealing with too much, uh, how you call it? The people who fuck their, their siblings? Um, fuck, what's your name? Um, incest. You guys, you guys need to relax. Relax. Somebody say go repent. Um, <laughs> she's just a wet ass bitch. It might be that. You know, she might be wet but she's like eh. uh stop attacking me somebody acting asking me melly are you a creamer mind your business asking me if i'm a creamer the fuck um oh who said you can't read i can sometimes sometimes i read um all right let, let me see but yeah so i i don't know I don't know on this one. It might be both. She might be really enjoying it and trying to keep you on your toes. Or she might be telling you the truth and you're, you're trash, but she, she can't help yourself. She wet. That's it. Somebody talking about definitely a creamer. How? You fuck me? You know me? If you haven't... Shut the fuck up. Yes, because you don't be knowing. You don't know what I do. Um, all right, let's see. What else? Uh, oh, this one is small. I can't see. Uh, I found out my lady was cheating with your methods. Oh, uh, now I want you, <laughs> sir. Well, I would like to know how you found out that, um, that you, um, that she was cheating. What, what technique did you use? What technique of mine did you use? Uh, because I don't know. Okay, you guys, okay, so I'm on Instagram right now, but I'm getting some emails. The emails are coming in, so I'm going to read some emails right now. Let's see. It's hot in here. Uh, okay, okay, no, it's an email with just uh, nothing. Uh, okay, I was going to say your name. Oh, my God, good, I didn't say it because in the email I can see the name better. Uh, I have my girlfriend kick me in the balls multiple times before we have sex. That's my fetish, sir. What, what, what are we doing? What are we doing over here? I mean, shit. I, I, I learn shit every day. Because uh, that's, that's a thing. That's a thing. It don't hurt? I mean, fuck. Why, why are you doing that? It don't hurt you? I, I don't understand. Somebody got to help me. If you're on here, uh, somebody said, Melanie is, get, is uh, sweating and getting wet all over. No, it is hot in here. Facts. Um, but is it something? Uh, somebody said, kind of PDD shit is this. Uh, Melly, your audience is out of control. Out of control. I, that's a fact. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, guys, uh, somebody say Bill Cosby. Uh, Gil Cosby? What? Um... Somebody said I died. What's going on? Like, no. Somebody got to come on here. If that's your fetish, you just send me an email. So I know your name. I'm not going to, I'm not going to disclose, you know, we're safe here. It's, we're with us. Um, 
But explain to me. Explain. What, 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 what does it do for you? She kicks you in the balls, and that's the only way you're going to have sex. That's, that's how you need to fuck. Um, I don't know. Tell me, tell me. Somebody, somebody, is that your fetish? If that's your fetish, please send me, send me another email. Um, because I do not understand. I don't understand. All right, let, let's read another one. Um, there was two brothers, both like me. Ooh, so it's a lady. Uh, or maybe it's a gay man. I, I'm going to say it's a lady. It's a lady. Um, there was, there was two brothers, both like me. I didn't really like either of them, but the youngest one was in my face all the time. So one, uh, on the, on the night. Oh, okay. So on the night of their uncle's awake, I kissed the older brother. Okay. I told the youngest one and they got into a fight at the funeral the next day. You're messy. Why you go and tell the other brother that you kissed? Why? You're messy, girl. Um, I never spoke to either of them after that. I was glad. Why are you out here creating uh, damage between uh, family members? You are not the one um, that we should trust. Like, it's a funeral. Everybody's sad. You can't just kiss one and not kiss the other. You got to kiss both. I'm sorry. You, you were wrong in that situation. You should have kissed both of them. That's, that's my, um, that's what I'm thinking you should have done. Uh, more pleasing for your back shots or missionary. Excuse me. People asking me crazy ass questions. This is not a show about me. It's a show about you all. If you want to share your secret, maybe cause you know, sometimes you have secrets and it's, uh, it's weighing on you. I'm here to release that we're here. The community. We need a, a name for the community. Uh, we're here as a community to help you. Um, so now everybody knows about it and you feel better about yourself. Uh, but this question is uh, pretty much, I guess, is it more pleasing for you backshot or missionary? Sir, why are you in my pussy like that? Like, pause. But why are you into what I do that much? Um, I don't know. All right, let, let me see. See, so, so there is more people with that fetish talking about you here to help us release what? Oh, no, no, that's not the one I wanted to see. Somebody said, I just want to see your toes. So, so it is really something. Somebody, again, I be, I, I don't be understanding. What is the big deal with the feet? What is it? What is it? Um, all right, we have another one. Somebody sent a super chat with a, if you don't want to send the email, you just send a super chat so we can read on the, I can try to read. Um, my ex and a married woman hid the true part of, uh, I, I can't read what I tell you, hid the true paternity of their kid from her now ex-husband. Fast forward, I told the ex-husband the truth. He never knew. Okay, I'm not understanding everything. <laughs> The ex, the, I, I'm, I'm lost, but pretty much somebody got somebody pregnant and didn't tell them who was the dad. My ex and a married woman hid the true paternity of their kid. So your ex, okay. So they were married. No, and a married. I'm confused. Somebody needs to help me. From her now ex-husband. Fast forward, I told the ex-husband that, girl, I think, yeah, Bernice. I see you, Bernice. Bernice, why you be telling people's business? Why did you go tell the hex husband the truth? Why? Was it your place? I don't know. Was it your place? Guys, please help me because I'm, I'm a little confused. Male high. I'm not high. I'm just sometimes a little slow. That's it. We'll, we'll put it on the slowness. Um, but uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying what you went and told. That, that's what we're going to say. That's, that's my take on it. It's, I'm a little confused. Um, all right, let's see. Thailand secrets. So you went to Thailand. Let's see. I told my wife, uh, my wife I was going to Japan for a business trip, but went to Thailand to buy whores. <laughs> Guys, what the hell? <laughs> 
I I am confused. The I mean I know we're here for the, for all somebody in the chat keep on saying repent, repent. Um yes, so, some of y'all need to repent, go confess your your crimes. I mean they're not crimes, but uh, go confess your your stuff because um because what the hell? You guys you guys are wild. So bad bitches. I mean, I I've been to Thailand. I, I don't, oh, yes, actually, I went to, uh, I don't know if that's the same name, but kind of like the red light district. Is that the name? Maybe. And, uh, yeah, it, it was whole for, uh, holes, holes for, for, for the law. Holes for like, um, maybe $10 US. <laughs> and that was the high end. So, so I'm sure if, if, if you're on that shit, go to Thailand for real. But you lied to your wife, went to a whole different country. You're wild. Why you didn't just say you're going to Thailand? Because she knows. She knows about the bitches in Thailand. Passport bros. Uh, the holes are cheap in Thailand. Exactly. Facts. I don't know about it. Never bought a hole. Um, yeah, the red light district. Okay. Respectfulness is a good thing. I, I agree. I agree. It is. Uh... Uh, red mic radio hello what are red flags to look for in women is being a bartender one of them Ooh, i feel attacked <laughs> i was a bartender for a good 10 years so um, or plus more i don't know uh so is it a red flag well not me as a bartender it wasn't a red flag because um i wasn't dating the people that i met at the bar i was really like about my business about my job Give me my money and keep it moving. What do you want to drink? $20. Thank you. Tip me and go. So I wouldn't say that. I wasn't talking to the people in the club. But working in the... I mean, if it's in the club, because I'm thinking it's in the club. It's just you're in that environment where you are around people who are spending money. But, I mean, they might be scammers. So girls don't think you're getting the jackpot. But uh, if you're looking for money. But I don't know. I don't know. Is that a red flag? I mean, the thing with those and like battle service and people in the nightlife, they are used to see the cash. So they're going to want you to, to have some type of money as a, as a guy. I wouldn't say it's a red flag to be a bartender because I know some, they had boyfriends, they were married, they were never doing anything. So I wouldn't say being a bartender is a red flag. It's more like the person and how she is. Um, you want me to give you a red flag? Uh, a bitch that never offers to pay. That's a red flag. Yeah. Because if you're dating and she never want to pay nothing and you know she got money, what are we doing? No. So to me, that's a red flag. Uh, Bernice is trying to tell you she's gay, Melly. Well, I don't know. How are you going to say her name like this? How are you going to put her on blast like this? No. Um, all right, let me see. What else we got? Uh... Okay, oh my God, you guys. I got a hand job and a blow job from my existing sister. What is wrong with y'all and this incest type of shit? Since finding out her sister wouldn't fuck me in our marriage. What? I got a hand job and a blow job from my existing sister since finding out her sister wouldn't... What, what's going on? Are you talking about your sister-in-law or your real sister? Who are you getting all this sexual shit from? Because her sister is not... So I'm thinking she's your sister-in-law. So you're fucking her sister and you're married to, to the main. And, um, but what's going on? Why are you fucking... Your, you know she's going to go tell on you at some point. I don't know why you're doing that to yourself. She's going to go tell because that, that's crazy. But also, I would ask myself, why is your bitch not fucking you? What's going on there? Um, I mean, it might be all on her. She might be cheating. She might not like you no more. She might want to leave. Uh, I, I don't fucking know. But uh, you got to figure that out. Because this is not normal. Somebody said that's a sticky situation. Yeah, she's going to tell. Uh, somebody said red flag if she wants a relationship. Stop it. We want relationships. Oh. Uh, that child, uh, that chat is wild tonight. You know, the chat is always, always wild on here. Uh, somebody says, see you Sunday. We're at church. <laughs> we need to go to church with all the shit I'm reading. We need to go to church. 
this is this is a must like somebody gotta release that uh that demon um all right what else oh okay no we're not we're not gonna send, again an attack on me um my ex got me some gucci gifts but i told my girlfriend i treated myself with my bonus yeah so you're accepting gifts from your ex no i don't like it you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't be doing that again you need to go to church that's gonna be the the new thing we're doing somebody say church ain't gonna help i don't know church is in the morning the motel is in the afternoon excuse me you guys wow thing church is a scam now okay so now we're gonna talk down on church okay it's on you i mean i don't go to church so um let me see what else somebody said oh same lines as one before i don't want to fuck my wife yo that's tough that is really tough because i don't know if she's stressing you out that you're like yo i don't want to fuck her no more or um what could it be she got chunky now you're not attracted to her or oh you got another bitch so i don't know i hope you're not in that extreme yet you're not cheating yet but um i would say if you know you got a good woman try to make it work because it's gonna be tough coming back out finding another good woman to marry you you were already married you might have kids you know women might mm, not really like that that much but um i don't know i don't know i think you should um you should think about why you don't want to fuck her that's that's what i want to know why you don't want to fuck her and if she got chunky well try to go to the gym with her try to do stuff to uh how you say it? incentivize i don't i think we'll say that's a word incentivize her to to do so or um what else what else you can do try try to do stuff that you like that that's what i want to say because you know it, it depends because i feel like a lot of men do not take care of their women in the bedroom so that's my take from my point of view but um but as a man Maybe she's not taking care of you in the bedroom. So you feel like, eh, I don't want to go fuck her. She's going to do one or two position and we're done. And uh, yeah, I'm not feeling it. So now you're kind of bored. So if you are bored, try to make it a little more, um, a little more, uh, what's the, entertaining for you and sexy and, uh, and, and more enjoyable. Do the shit you want to do. Stop thinking about her and what she likes, if that's what you're doing. Do, do what you want do what pleases you and hopefully she's with, she's with it. i mean don't do anything she don't want to do but um try to please yourself while fucking her that's what you need to do because yeah you you might be stuck in the routine and um and that's what's fucking you up or i don't know or maybe she's annoying and you just need to tell her to shut the fuck up there, there's women who just be annoying as fuck all day long and then they're wondering oh my man don't want to fuck me yeah we don't want to fuck you we like i'm a man your man don't want to fuck you no more because you're annoying you're annoying and that's a turn off to a lot of men they come back from work not saying you don't work as the women we all come back from work and then we try to go home and have a good time and relax before we go back again to fucking work and all you do is nag and talk shit and you're just annoying yeah if i was a man i wouldn't want to fuck you i wouldn't want to fuck a man that's annoying facts um i'm talking to myself <laughs> talking about facts um somebody said he wants to smash other bad women i don't know i we don't know we don't know what it is really with the uh, i was gonna say his name with uh, with him Melly things <laughs> thinks i guess she's a dude i'm not a dude but i'm just i'm just saying you gotta focus on yourself sometime help yourself uh are you pregnant no i'm not <laughs> you guys are annoying you just be thinking i'm fat or i gained weight i did gain the weight but i lost it so when are you gonna finally see it look I, i'm drinking some water to lose all that extra weight. I'm sorry. It is hot in here. All right. Let's see what else. What else we, we got. 
Um, I love when a woman sit, sit, and she has side rolls, talking about being fat, side rolls, she's sexy as hell, not really a secret, but hey, you like side rolls. I mean, they, like I said, we're, we're talking about all them fetishes that I'm finding out today. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people are into, I don't want to say weird shit. You are into what you, what you're into, but a lot of people be liking shit. So you like the side rolls? Go for it. Shit. Everybody needs the love. Uh, everybody needs the love. What else? What are you guys saying? Oh, thank you. The, the, I'm receiving some nice messages. Thank you all. Uh, Melly Monaco, your perfection inside and outside. Your inspirational, fabulous, and did I say beautiful? Thank you. Appreciate that. See, after the, the fat comments, it's, it's a nice comment to hear. All right, let's see. What else we got? I'm not gay. When you start a, a, a thing like that, talking about I'm not gay, sir, you gay. You probably gay. That, that's, the, that's what I'm thinking. But we're going to take your word for it. You're not gay. Uh, but I want a woman to eat my ass. Ooh. Ooh. What, so, so, what, what, what y'all thinking? Am I wrong? Um, I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> First off, I think he's gay, which is nothing wrong with being gay. But uh, anyways, so let's move past that. You're not gay. Somebody said everyone is gay. Uh, you're not gay, but, uh, you want somebody to eat your ass. Is that, guys, uh, please tell me, is that good? Is that something you guys want? Do you want someone to eat your ass? As a non-gay man, because I'm sure gay men love that. I don't even know. I'm talking for the gays, like I know. I don't know. But um, if um, what what do you guys think? Do you get uh, somebody said disgusting? Next subject. That's between him and a woman. Okay. Um, okay. He gay if he runs a train with a man. He's not. We're not talking about running a train. We're talking about he wants his booty licked. Uh, what you guys saying? Uh, that's kind of gay. Body man. I, okay, so no, that's, that's gay. You guys don't, don't like your no eat shithole. So, uh, is, no, you guys don't enjoy that. Have you tried? That's, that's what I want to know because all of you saying no, hell no. Have you tried? Because if you haven't tried, I feel like, you, no, no, I'm not going to say that. Because <laughs> I was going to say, um, if you haven't tried, you cannot dislike it, but then I would, then we can, we can say that because if you haven't tried a dick in your ass, I'm not, no, I'm not going to tell you, you got a good try to find out if you like it. No. So, so no, we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said, don't want to try. Yes. You're right. You're right. No Diddy. Why are you talking about no Diddy? Uh, what the fuck you girl? Of course you want it. Do I want it? No, I don't want it. I mean, I don't, I don't care for it. I think it happened to me one time and, uh, I didn't care. It wasn't like, Ooh, do that again. It wasn't like that. No, it was like, all right, next, next thing. What are we doing next? <laughs> uh, somebody still saying next subject. Um, what's your, what's your take? I think, or what you say on how porn is affecting men these days? Ooh. I saw play is gay, point blank, no justification. I don't know. Well, somebody is ruder than me. Um, why are you humiliating men? I'm not humiliating men. If you, you do what you want to do, I'm not here to judge you. Um, so um, uh, what are my take on, on porn and how it's affecting men? Well, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of men be thinking they're dick too small because they're looking at fucking porn. Well, obviously they got hired because they had that big dick. So, so I don't know. And then it's affecting my life <laughs> in the ways that sometimes they might not be so horny because they, they jerk off all day long. So then when I come and try to fuck you, you know, you're like, oh, no, I'll pass. I'm cool. But uh, also... They be watching the, the stuff and the, the, the positions and the, the craziness and the thing that the craziness is what every woman want. I'm not saying no women don't like the craziness. I'm just saying 
what you see in porn, you don't ha you don't have to repeat it or try to recreate, because um, uh, it's it's porn. <laughs> you can try, but but come on, come on. Uh, so I think it's it's not so good to watch too much too much of it. But if you want a little bit, um, that is fine. That is fine. A little bit. Uh, all right. Let's see. I had sex with a girl from the gym while her husband was on the other uh, was in the other room sleeping with his daughter. You're wild. You are wild. And you know why you're wild? You're wild because that's how you get killed. You be doing shit with other women's uh other men's wait, other men's women? Fuck, I don't know. With other people wives. And then if they find out and they want to kill you, you are going to act like, um, oh, what, what happened? No, no, what happened is that you fucked his wife while he's sleeping. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I apologize. While you're sleeping in the other room, while he is sleeping in the other room with his daughter. What are you doing? Let this motherfucker has a gun in his house and kill you. Like, you need to chill. You guys just be doing the most. Uh, the most. Even if you want to do that and take his wife, why are you doing it at his house? It don't make no sense. Uh, no chill, girl. Thank you for the 20. Looking nice. Thank you. Um, somebody said, does no one enjoy normal sex anymore? I, I swear. Normal sex is what I like. I like normal. They call me vanilla or whatever. I like normal. So, but what is normal though? Normal is not what's in the porn. That's all I know. Thank you, Dubem, Daniel. I don't know where you're from, but thank you. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Um, my girlfriend, my girlfriend cheated and I walked, but I still leave her or live with her. Is that normal? Well, I mean, if you're on the lease and or you can't afford to go live by yourself, I, I guess. I guess you you got to figure it out until you can get the fuck out of there. But, um, so, did you really walk, though? Are you still fucking her sometimes, once a week? I don't know. Are you? I want to know that. Because if you're still fucking her, did you really walk? Or maybe now you're seeing her as the side piece, and you're in, and you're just waiting to find the, the new, the replacement, the real deal? I don't know. Maybe. That's what somebody told me. Actually, uh, Gilbert told me that. He said, if you have a wife, or if you got, uh, thank you, Mike, looking real nice. Thank you. Um, if you got a wife or a girlfriend and she's your, your main, she thinks she's the only one, uh, and that she goes and cheats on you, now she becomes like the, the side piece in your, in your guy's eyes so you might still stay with her but now she she put herself as the side piece and now you as the man is going to try to keep on looking for the new the new girl the new main girl because once she cheated um you see her as she was the side piece to this other dude and now you don't want her i think that was the explanation but yeah once you put yourself in the I'm not the main, I'm a little bit of a whore, then it's done for you. It's done. So, so don't do that. If you want to stay the man, uh, the man, the main, be, be good, be loyal. And I know we're going to say, well, what if he cheats on me? Can I, well, I, I really believe that if somebody cheats on you, either you deal with it and you stay and you shut the fuck up. I mean, you can give them hell for a little bit, but then eventually you got to let it go or, uh, or what? Or you leave. You leave. I really believe that people doing you dirty don't give you a pass to do them dirty. I, I've never understood this uh, revenge thing. Oh, you did this to me, so I got to do this to you. No. The, the worst I'm going to do to you, and I'm going to be satisfied, is leaving you. I, I'm going to be satisfied. And you're going to be, hopefully, I mean, that's what we put in our head. You're going to be miserable when you lose me. That's what we tell ourselves. That might be, not be the truth. But all I'm saying is that don't change your character for somebody who had a shitty character or who did something shady. No, because now you're stooping 
to their level. Stooping is that the word? I think so. That that's all I'm gonna say. You you're stooping to their their level, and now you you know better. Even if you did it second, you're still bad. Uh. All right. Did you get my last comment about interracial dating? I'm afraid to approach black women romantically because, because what? Because what? Because I feel a lot of misconception and I feel most black women won't date white men. Ooh. Well, you know, I mean, nowadays we see more uh, women being open with uh, dating outside of their race because, you know, they be thinking, let's say I'm talking about black women. They be thinking that, oh, black men ain't shit. Black men can do nothing for me, blah, blah. So now they're going to the other side, to the white side. And um, I don't know. So I think it's more open for you right now. You should try. You should try to talk to them. Also, you know, I, I know you, you might put in your head that women look at you funny or they, they might be a little aggressive or whatever, but you should just approach. Approach them and try. If... Uh, you like chocolate. If chocolate is your favorite flavor, go for it. Shit. I go for a white man. White man, are you here? I go for a white man. I go for somebody who is nice. <laughs> for somebody who is nice, somebody who treats me good, somebody who has goals, who just, you know, like the color. I mean, I'm still, I still need to be attracted to you, and I can be attracted to a white man. If you're good looking, you're good looking. I'm just saying... You can, um, you can just try. Don't be scared. And uh, what is the misconception? I don't, I don't know what's the misconception. Um, okay, I can tell you what I used to think. I used to think that white men <laughs> were not strong enough. That's, that was my misconception. And uh, I just think you got to find somebody that, that can deal with you. So, but, and then the other thing with the white people is that um, I don't want to have to explain to them what is, you know, with the black culture. And it's kind of like, I want you to kind of know. And maybe it's not fair, but you want to date me. So I, I want you to kind of know what black people go through, how we see life and shit like that. So that would be maybe my only concern as dating a white man. Am I, do I need to educate him on what black people go through? I don't want to do that. So, so that, that's my take, but, um, uh, but I will, I will date them. French people think America wrote the Bible. Uh, no, I don't think that. Um, all right, let me see what else we got. No, 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 no. Somebody, I've been in a relationship for two years. I haven't met that person yet. Catfish. Catfish. Uh, I mean, I used to, to do stuff like, you know, back in the day when they have like all those, um, you know, the brand new, how you could talk, what was it? Like around MySpace and uh, Messenger and shit like that. You know, you could meet people from all over or where they had those chats and stuff. So there you could meet people, talk for a little while, but also you're younger. And then you think, oh, I'm in a relationship, blah, blah, blah. but no, you're not. But uh, for you to not see somebody for two years and be in a relationship, you're wild. Like, you, you are wild. Why do you think you're in a relationship? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. You, you're tough. Because uh, I wouldn't do it. I need to see the person I'm with all the time. So, uh, no, I would make the trip. Where, where's she at? Oh, are you a guy? Or, yeah, you're a guy. Where is the girl? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Where is, where is the girl? What, what is the reason why you haven't seen her? If you haven't seen her, maybe she's in another country. You don't get enough money to travel there. She don't got money either. Uh, I don't fucking know. You need to quit. This is not a relationship. Um, oh, somebody say white feminists don't accept black. Ooh, oh, every snow bunny never let me meet her family. Oh, wow. That's that's true. I mean, I hear a bunch of men talking about, well, uh, we want black women are too difficult, so we're gonna go, or they have attitude at all times, so we're gonna go to the white families, to the snow bunnies. But uh, but um, but what? But yeah, I, I don't know. See, that's the that's the downside. 
you know, maybe the 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 white bitch is nicer, more uh, how you say it, cooperative, you know, more submissive. I don't I don't know. I'm just uh, thinking. That's what you guys mean. And um, but yet the family are racist. So maybe you should stick with your sisters. Um, all right, let's see. What else? Uh, white can't nurture black, and that's up to the cosmos. Okay, well, we're not going to go to the... Um... Oh, thank you. Somebody giving me good news. Allergy season almost over in SoCal. Please. I've been having allergies for two months. It's <clears throat> pretty trash. But that's the first time it happened to me for so long. Um, all right, let's see. What else we got? I slept with a mom, a daughter... And a cousin all in the same night. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are we doing here? You guys are wild, wild, wild. Like, I'm going to start thinking you guys be be um, be um lying to us. How you did that? You said who? The mom, the daughter, and the cousin all in the same night. So was it a threesome? Or did you take turn? You went to knock on the mom's door? Mom, you're up, let me fuck. And then you finished, and then you go to the daughter. Hey, daughter, you want to fuck? I just fuck your mom. And then you go to the cousin. Like, like, what's going on? Why? Hey, if, if you did all of this in three different occasions, like, you know, the three different sex, I will call it like that, the stamina that you must have, I, I'm shit. Shit. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> wait, must have been a family reunion. Facts. Facts. That's how you get all three of them at the same time. Somebody say it's a W. Um, somebody say, wow, well, repent. Dude, the mom is nasty. Oh, so just the mom is nasty. Uh, the, the sister, uh, the daughter and the cousin is okay. That combination is okay, but just the mom Oh, that's we can we can do um okay i don't know why you guys are fucking mom is is that a thing again you guys need to teach me is that a thing uh moms and daughters and the family is um i don't know what what does it do to you 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 guys feel good about yourself after you do it uh i want to know i don't know it's, I, I guess for women it's different but i'm like i would never be proud <laughs> Oh, well, in the same night, I fucked the dad, the brother, and the cousin. <laughs> You'd be like, you're a whore. I know it's double standard, and I totally get it. But um, let's say we take away the whore, <laughs> the whore um, aspect of it. I would never be proud. Or even if I'm trying to be a dude. I mean, I guess as a dude, I can see. Now that I'm putting myself in your shoes. And like, yeah, as a dude, it's... You... It's a stamp. It's a stamp. I, I got all three bitches, same family, all fucking me, or fucking all of them. But if it was a threesome, them bitches are nasty. How, as a mom, you're fucking with, like, with your daughter? So you, you see your daughter uh, getting head, getting, um, I was going to say striked. <laughs> your daughter getting hit, all that shit, you... And then you're like, my turn, my turn, you had enough dick, my turn, let me jump. It, it's just crazy. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you guys are on, but this sounds, mm, I don't know. I don't, somebody said that's disgusting. Hey, it's a family thing. You know, okay, so um, I, I, I was watching porn one day. And the story, I like porn, I like soft porn. I don't like the hardcore porn where you see everything. So I was watching porn, and um, so it was a mom and a daughter who had a business. They had a business, and the business was a, a massaging business, right? So they go and um, they go into the, um, to a client's house, and the client was a woman. I, I like the gay porn. I don't know. Maybe I'm gay deep down. Um so they go on the date, uh, they go, it's not a date, they go do the work, and then they, there is the, the, the wife or whoever, the, the lady of the house, and then they start massaging the lady, they, they both massage them, then they start putting, okay, you, you know where we're going. But um, 
yeah, mom and mom and daughters in the pond. So maybe that's where you guys have this whole idea that um, that it's it's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, maybe we need to have a private chat after this session. O okay, sir. Okay. Uh, call me. Um, some people just like the thrill. Okay. Melly likes Lifetime movies porn. Yes. I, I need a little story. I can't just be like, hey, I'm here with my big dick. Let's fuck. No. That's not for me. I need a little story. I'm telling you, I like the gay ones better. The girls. The girl ones because they're more sensual. They're more like soft and, you know, I don't need to see a big day going into a vagina. That's, that's not for me. I'm cool on that. I have enough, um, uh, I have nothing. <laughs> Let's not say nothing. See, see, you guys are attacking me. This is crazy. Um, Melly be watching some lady chatterly type shit on Cinemax. I don't have Cinemax. Oops. Um, so, so wait. When I got finished with Becky Sue, all her sister want to see the 11 inch freak. <laughs> What's going on? You guys are wild. Wild. On Instagram and on fucking YouTube, you guys are wild. Uh, so somebody said, how deep you like it, Melly? Why it always turn to something like this? I'm saying that like I wasn't talking about sex two seconds ago. But it's it's what people sent me. Uh, deep, deep, down, hello, I want to be down, Melly, help me. Excuse me. Sir, have some respect for yourself. All right, let me see if we have one more or a few more and then I'll, I'll let you all go. I fake a nut with my wife because it's boring. You guys and your wives, you got to find it. How is it boring? You cannot just put the sex on your wife. If she is boring, you need to have a blast. Go have some fun with her. You need to find a way to, to make it spicier for yourself. Uh, what's my IG? It's uh, Melly Monaco. It's on the screen on YouTube. <clears throat> uh, so, so wait. So your wife is boring in the bedroom and you fake a nut. Oh, my God. So is that a thing? Is that a thing too? Um, if you guys are not really feeling it or you don't really like the girl or, or her pussy is just trash and you can't come, do you fake the cum or you just stop? You don't want to hurt her feelings, so you keep going. Please let me know what, what you guys do. Um, what you guys do? You get, tell me, okay, in the, in the, in your comment, just say stop or fake. So just write stop or fake. I'm sure most of you fake. Um, let me see. Faking, both. Uh, fake or stop. Yes, fake or stop. What you guys doing? Uh, I just stop and say I'm tired. Okay. Till she come correct. Okay. She keep, uh, I keep going till I nut. <laughs> But if you don't like it, you ha you're going to come, stop. I could never fake. Um, stop, dead on the tracks. Okay, fake, stop, fake yawn. You're wild. You're going to fake yawn. You're, you're, you're rude. You're rude. Why are you yawning? Like the pussy is so boring. I'm a yawn. Um, somebody say we, we do what y'all do. You think we be faking a lot? I mean, it's not a fault. <laughs> I'm here to defend the women sometimes. It's not a fault. If the shit is fake, uh, it, it's bad, I don't want to hurt your ego. I don't want to be that person. So unless you're my boyfriend, I'm going to try to talk to you and be like, Yo, you know, we need to do this and, you know, try to help you. But if you're not my boyfriend and it was just, ah, you know, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to be like, ah, <laughs> I came. <laughs> And we're done. We're good to go. You're good to go. You're good to go home, sir. Um, since you remember me, oh my God, are you <laughs> Mike? Mike is the guy you said uh, I was in his bed and he don't remember what happened. Um, Melly, please read this story. I'm sorry, I'm coming back, Mike. Um, uh, they met online and later found out they both are addicted to porn and masturbate. How do they help each other fight that? 
You want me to read that? I thought you had a juicy story. So, I mean, they're good, right? They're good if they're both addicted to porn and masturbation. They can help themselves. I mean, masturbate, so it's by yourself. The porn, we can watch it together, I guess. What is that? I thought you had something good. You made me stop. Uh, all right, so Mike, what Mike's saying, since you remember me, are you single? Because if so, I'm coming back for you. No disrespect. This is my first time watching your show. I was in jail. Oh, shit. Mike. <laughs> I'm not laughing at your, at your, um, misery. You were in jail. I think, I think, okay, I don't want to put your business on here, but I, I am. Were you selling drugs? Because I, I think you were selling drugs. Is that what you were doing? Why you went to jail for? Uh, tell me. Now that you said, you, you said it, um, that you were in jail. So now we need to know. Okay, I fake came twice uh, and went home and walked off and got mines. We don't say mines. We say mine. Uh, can be with a woman who can't make me nut. Well, I don't, it's not always on the women. Sometimes you guys be in your head or you're thinking about other bitches or I don't know what's going on. But it's not always on us. The same as it's not always on you when the women don't come. That's what I'm going to say. But... Uh, you went home and took care of yourself. Okay. Wow. You guys don't be attacking Mike. Mike was a nice guy. Uh, or is, I don't know what he's done. So maybe he was, he's not nice no more. Um, Mike just needs a stay, a place to stay. He homeless right now. Stop it. Mike is not homeless. Um, so men don't fake it. Well, a lot of men just say they're faking it. So, uh, oh, Mike responded. Mike, not homeless. <laughs> uh, Mike lives in a mansion. Okay. Mike lives in a mansion. Mike is doing good for himself. But Mike, tell us, uh, why were you in jail? That, I really want to know that. You know, I'm, I'm nosy. So, um, so yeah, let, let me know. Why, what were you in jail? How many? We watch porn together and get on so it won't be no faking. Okay. You guys are going too far. Uh, I think that's it. That's all I got, huh? That thing, I, that's all I have. Ooh, somebody said, I like anal sex more than I like regular sex. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess. I, hey, if it is your preference, go for it. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm going to tell you, we're going to get a little personal. I'm not into the ass shit. I've never done it. I had a slip up one time where it went through the wrong hole and then I almost cried. I was seeing uh, stars. I, I was hot, hot flushes, uh, all that shit. So this is not for me. I'm never going to do that. Hopefully nobody's going to go in the wrong, uh, wrong place again. But that shit hurts. But I heard like if you prep it, it's not that bad, but I'm not trying to, to find out. So maybe I'm thinking, maybe the pussies you're fucking are not good. Because, come on, you want to tell me ass is better than pussy? How? I mean, again, you, you, you men are better, no better than me, because I can never enter some pussy. I would like to, just FYI. Uh, but... And feel like what is the sensation of the inside, but I cannot. So, so can you explain? Somebody said, "Fuck shit happened. She was bleeding. I wasn't bleeding. No. Uh, seeing stars is crazy. Uh, yo, I felt crazy. I was sweating. Stars felt like I was gonna pass out. You don't even know. Um, but yeah. Um, so so I don't know, but. Please, guys, tell me, is the, the pussy, uh, somebody say as Didi, stop. <laughs> is the pussy, like, does it mean the pussy is trash or is just, like, the ass be just tighter so you like it more? I don't fucking know. I never, I don't understand. I'm not a man. So, you got a, anal is for little dudes. Ooh, is that a thing? So, because your dick is small, it feels better in the ass? I don't know. The sensation of the inside. Yes, I want to know the sensation of going into pussy. 
I, I wish I could know. Um, so how is everybody doing today? Hello. Yeah, we're talking about some, uh, some, some shit over here. Um, but yeah. Okay. So that's it. That's it. Uh, I mean, there is more, but I think we've been on here for an hour. I think we got enough and we'll, we'll get more for, for next day. Uh, do you want to leave on a good one? Um, uh, the wait. Okay. Yeah. We're going to leave on a good one because I do not understand how that happened, but, um, uh, Oh my God. Okay. Let me, let me see. Um, I once got reverse gangbang by three women. How did, okay. So you're a man. This is a man sending that. So how do you get gangbang by three women? How does it work? Does it mean they fuck you? Like they have the strap on and they do it to you? Or does it mean they just have sex with you like the regular way like with with their pussy i don't i don't know i'm i'm confused how does it work did he alert stop stop <laughs> somebody said did you get drugged uh i don't know strap-ons so it's with strap-ons women wearing straps yes i mean <laughs> not that i know <laughs> but um yeah that's what uh I, I think that's what gay women do like they, they be, um, some, some, not all, but I, I've heard, uh, <laughs> I've heard now I, I'm sounding like I've been doing those. Uh, but I heard that, um, yeah, they put the strap on to penetrate the, the, the woman, the, the girly one or whatever. I don't fucking know. Uh, but, but yeah, I think that's what happened to, uh, Melly, are you conscious? Yes. Uh, I am, I am conscious. But, um, but yes, so, so I don't know. I don't know what happened to you. Uh, you say gangbang. So it sounds like you didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> I'm done. Yo, on, on YouTube, you guys are wild. Why somebody just said, did he quote it? I'm done. I'm done. All right. Well, that, that's the one we're going to end on. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I am a Melly past life. <laughs> no, in a past life, I wish I, w I was a man. I, I want to know what, what you guys be, be feeling and all that shit. I want to fucking know. Uh, but, but yes. All right. Uh, somebody say they hog tied you, then ra raped you. I don't know. Was it rape? Cause we're here laughing. I didn't take that into consideration. If, if that's what happened, I apologize for the, for the lasters. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, uh, on this note, uh, no, now I, I need to find a, a better one. Um, a nice one. Oh my God. No, no, that's, that's not a better one, but you and the family, like it, it is something. Okay. So this is a little different than what we've read so far. So that's the last one. I fucked my stepmom and she stopped sleeping with my dad for months. You are trifling. You are a trifling son. Like, why you do that? Why you do that to your dad? What your dad did to you? Wow. Why are you fucking the, the mom, the, the stepmom? I mean, why she's fucking you too, though? Excuse me. What type of woman is that? <laughs> you enter the family and now you get fucked by the son and the dad. Lady, you're wild. But you, sir, uh, sending those, you are wild too. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, somebody say he's lying. I don't know if he's lying. I, I've seen so many stories like that. So I'm sure there is some that are true. They have to be, um, they have to be. He always said it, uh, use your hands mate to do what? Uh, that stepmom crazy for sure. That's wild. They're prepping the slide, the, the slide to hell. Seriously, <laughs> they're prepping it. With all the shit we read today, uh, some people are going to hell. I'm not going. Maybe. Uh, but anyways, all right, so that's all I have for you. I hope uh, you guys like this. It's just me and y'all. Me and y'all. Uh, somebody complained. They said that uh, this don't do anything for the channel, and it don't help us. It don't help. 
it helps us have a good time i think this is a good time what did you guys think did you guys uh, have a good time i hope uh, cleanse yourself with in holy water where did we get help holy water i need some um but yes so since you say you don't help the channel i i apologize sir for for the inconvenience but um how about you get the book the book would help you the book gives you a lot of advice it's called the ultimate love cheat code you can find it at where do we find it uh shopmellymonaco.com and then also if you get the the course because it's a book a course and an ebook so if you get the course what you can do is um get a one-on-one -on -one video call with me so i think i think it's cool i i had one today he was really happy i, I need to answer him too um but yes come get to know me we can talk about whatever you want and uh it's a good time we're gonna laugh you already know with me we're gonna laugh but if you have an issue you can just um uh we can just talk we can be serious too but if you want to laugh we can laugh also uh oh i have a patreon www.patreon.com slash monaco if you don't want to get the book or the course, it's okay. But if you need advice, if you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need a friend, you go on Patreon. There's uh, pictures, videos that are not on Instagram or on um, on here. You do phone sex? Well, come find out. Come find out if I do phone sex. Um, but yes, you go on Patreon and then uh, we can do a video call. 30 minutes. Hey, boo! Uh, K.O. is here. K.O. is coming back on the pineapple show next week. Is it next week? Yes, next Wednesday. You guys, you guys need to come. She's in D.C. You guys are going to love her. You need to come. Uh, all right. Melly pregnant. One more time before we leave. I am not fucking pregnant. I, I gained weight. But I lost it. So get over it. Maybe it's taking a little time for you to, to see that I lost it. Um, but that's it. All right. We, 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 you are definitely wired. Am I wired? Wired or weird? Which one you said? Um, I don't know. All right, so that's all we, we got for today. Hopefully, I might do a live tomorrow. Uh, I'll let you know. Hopefully, you, you catch me on uh, Instagram. How much you weigh? You guys are wild asking me how much I weigh. I weigh this morning 168. I was 182 about two, three weeks ago. So you cannot tell me I didn't lose the weight. 168. All right. Um... All right, we're out. Thank you for being here. But yeah, again, if you want to talk to me, if you have some issues or whatever, you can find me on Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash Melly Monaco. All right, I'll get the book or the course, whichever you want. All right, guys, you have a good night. Have a wonderful Thursday night. Good night. So I ended the live on uh, on you on, on instagram but i'm still here with y'all melly lost weight yes yes i did i did but they don't care they don't care over here um who is talking about no wonder uh what's good day day oh um daquan is here what's up daquan uh all right i'm leaving it, it is hot i need to go outside but i appreciate y'all i hope you guys had a good time if you have it's weird because now we're off on, of instagram and now i feel like i'm talking to y'all like it's it's us i don't i don't know why i feel like that i don't know i think you guys were closer on youtube i don't know but um what i want to say is uh it, i hope you guys like the show that's something we're trying. I don't know if that's entertaining to hear what people are really thinking and they don't want to say. But also, uh, if you guys have any suggestions as far as what topic I should ask, because what I do, you know, I don't know if you saw it, but I put it on Instagram. I didn't get enough response about the cheating one because I think I didn't put it early enough. So I did the, the secret. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if you have topics that you want to hear what people think or whatever, or like wild questions, uh, please email me or DM me some questions uh, or some topics that I could um, we could focus on and we could ask uh, for the community for the community. Uh, so that's it. That's all. I hope I hope it was I I was thoroughly entertained. Oh, thank you. Uh, damn, it's over. I just got here. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, YouTube is the original squad. I agree. I think that's why I feel like that. Um, this is amazing. I've known her for 20 years. 
I'm very proud of you, Melly. Oh, okay, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, yes, you need to end it. They are asking a necessary question. Thanks for the live today and spending time with us. Thanks, Melly. They're not asking a necessary question. I think, I don't know. You know, I'm more comfortable on YouTube. Instagram is brand, not brand new, but you know. Um, day one, yes, chemistry. Look, with Jose always promoting for me. All right, so that's it. That's it. We're going to go. I'm sweating. You don't even want to see this dress with all the sweat. Yeah, it's sweaty. I don't know. You can't even see the difference. I guess the yellow is nice, but I see it. Uh, all right, we're out. I appreciate you. Maybe another live tomorrow. Because uh, I don't know if we're doing the live with Matt with Unclassified tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I'll keep you posted. And uh, if not, we do the live on Sunday, I believe, with Gilbert and Nick. And then we come back Monday for the pineapple show. I got a girl from Monday, so this Monday should be a pineapple show. So um, we're going all over the whole week, only one or two days off. So be ready. If you can't, I, I appreciate you still. If you can, just watch the live all the time. I know it might be a lot of content that I'm pushing out, but hey, we'll be here. So somebody talking about um, <coughs> Jose saying, Matt asking for a raise on strike. No, Mike, uh, Matt is good. Matt is fine. He just had something to do. So we'll see. We'll see what we're doing. Um, the chat been turning mainly on tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, but who is saying that a hot boy is in jail? I mean, I haven't heard about a hot boy for, I don't know. Is it about a good six months to a year now? It's been a while I haven't heard uh, from him. So, um, uh, so that's it. All right. Well, you guys, we're out. And uh, I'll see you hopefully later on this week. I'll keep you posted. Good night. <laughs>